Hello viewers of Gilderland High School. My name is Billy Floyd of the GHS Reporter, and today is a D-Day, otherwise known as Decision Day, for these two fine gentlemen as they pass on the legendary pants and the flag. Now Marcus, when you woke up this morning, what was going through your head about your decision? Well, I'll tell you, Billy, it was a tough morning. First of all, I woke up crying. And then second of all, I woke up in a cold sweat. Couldn't get rid of it all day. It's been a tough day. That sounds rough. Now, Jeff, pants owner, what was going through your head? You know, uh, it's been a real roller coaster of emotions for me, you know? Um, I woke up this morning with kind of a sense of relief because I knew uh, that whoever was lucky enough to get these pants next, we're going to take good care of them. Very good answer. Now, Marcus, who helped you through this process? Who did you get advice from? I mean, honestly, the great Dan Penna really coached me through this. He taught me how to face adversity when picking the right person for this flag. And I couldn't have done it without him. And I can't forget Mr. Brooks. I mean, he, he really knows in his heart who deserves the flag. So those two guys, I mean, couldn't have done it without him. Two very respectable men in the skill doing community. Now, Jeff, who gave you your advice? Um, I mean, my mom, for sure. She's always uh, you know, been somebody that I can always kind of bounce ideas off of, you know, and uh, get, get advice from. Uh, so she really helped me out in this decision, and uh, she also knows uh, a few of the, of the candidates for the pants, so she was able to help me on that aspect. And then also, you know, Mr. Han, uh, somebody that a lot of kids at Gildone High School can go to for advice, and uh, he's at every Red Sea game, so he knows who deserves these pants, too. Everyone you guys mentioned were great people, and those were some great advice they probably gave you, and this decision will be great. Now, Marcus, the master question of them all is why does this person deserve this flag? The person deserves the flag, one, because of he has these luscious arms that I can just see, I can picture oh, it in my head. Great, great I, arms. Great arms. I can picture it in my head as he's waving it. Just it's, it. it's so easy for him, and... You know, it's, it just it flows naturally, and, you know, he's a leader by example with the flag. That's how it's going to be. And, you know, I just have this image in my head of his arms just waving it back and forth. I see. And I just, I, it's clear to me right there. Why does this person deserve to put these pants around his waist? You know, uh, he's a leader. He's going to be able to attract these people to the games, you know, maybe if they're having a, you know, having a bit of a rough patch, he's going to be able to lift the team up. He's going to be able to, you know, transcend uh, what everybody else is feeling and uh, be able to, uh, you know, get everybody going, get everybody on their feet. And that's why they deserve this, these pants right here. Well, you guys are two great past owners of these two very special things for the Gildland program. And coming up next, we will see who are the newcomers to these fine pieces of Gildwin art. Welcome back everybody to the Decision Part 3 special. I'm now here with Jeff awaiting the very special question that we've all been waiting for. Who is getting the pants? But first, I want to ask you, do you have any doubts? No, no doubts. Do you need to sleep on it a little more? <laughs> I've slept on it enough. Are you still a nail biter? No, not so much anymore. Well, you've had people all over Gildewin biting their nails. Now, Jeff, what is your decision? You know, uh, this fall, and trust me, it's been very tough. Uh, these pants, these very special pants, uh, they're going to Brandon Petta. Brandon Petta. Brandon Petta. What is your advice for Brandon Petta for his senior year of wearing the pants? Just to, uh, just to wear it with confidence and, uh, and, and lead by, you know, he, need, he needs to be a leader. And he, uh, I expect him to, you know, wear it to every game, even the basketball games, Tuesday, Friday, doesn't matter. He's got to wear them because uh, it goes quickly. And you never know, you know? So he's got to wear them whenever he can. That's my advice. Wear them whenever he can. Well, Brandon Petta, you heard the man. You have big expectations coming up. I want to congratulate you and everyone watching. Brandon Petta will be wearing the pants the 2014-15 year. And you thought we were done. We still have one piece of Gildo history to hand down, and that beautiful piece of history 
is this flag. And now, Marcus, let's go over the people that could potentially hold the flag for this coming season. All right, well, it comes down to three people. The first person to my left, your right, is Ralphie. Person in the middle, Zach Rhodes. Person to my right, your left, Parker Carmichael. And let me tell you, it was a real tough decision. But I'm sorry, Ralphie. <laughs> it's not going to go to you. Not now, not ever. Now, it was real tough between these two great men. But I'm sticking to my decision this year. And the flag this year goes to Parker. Wow. Wow. Now, if Parker can't make it to one of the games, or he simply wants to give his buddy a chance to wave the flag, it goes to Zach. If Zach can't make one of the games, it goes to a parent. If one of the parents can't make it to the game, then it goes to Mr. Hahn for football games or Mr. Brooks. If they can't make it to the game, Sue can hold it. And if Sue can't make it to the game, then Ralphie, you can get the flag. Well, Ralphie, sorry about the dub. Congratulations to both Parker, Zach, and Brandon Petta. We'll see you this season, and good luck to all you seniors.